Hey, what's up, everybody? Adobe Masters here, and today I'm gonna be showing you how to create gradient text in Adobe Photoshop. So let's get started. First thing I did was import a fun forest back image from Envato Elements, which is a subscription-based service that allows you an unlimited amount of stock photos and footage. So check that out in the link in the description below. To get this started, what we need to do is we need to first create ourselves a text layer. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this over with just the blank slate. We're gonna go to our text tool on the left side here, the horizontal type tool. Click, and then we can write something again like Jurassic Park. Now, make sure the text is black. This will help later on when we're creating that gradient where there's opacity behind it. Uh, we'll change the color when we actually create the gradient. So you can, you know, I'm just gonna drag it. There are buttons to do this, but pretty much centered. So now that we have our text centered, we're going to double click on this layer over here. It is created. Don't double click on the text. It'll just go to rename, go to the right side, double click there, and it'll bring up the layer style panel. Go down to gradient overlay. And by just clicking it, whatever gradient was last chosen is gonna go onto it. So you can see that it's the nice red one. If you wanna change up the gradient, click this gradient right here. You'll now have the image of all the different gradients you can make. This is how you can make a custom one, and there are some fantastic ones throughout the, the presets. Um, I just went into the, the oranges, and I found one that worked. But let's say you wanted to create your own. So to do that, the top here is the opacity. The You can see they're both fully black. The bottom is the color. So with the color, I can click anywhere to create myself a new color. If I double click on that, I can then change the color. So if we wanted to also add like maybe like a, a dark red in the center, we could do that a little lighter something like that and then now where I drag it is actually how it's going to slope through the color so you see it goes from yellow to this pinkish red to this dark red if I wanted it to go quicker I could move more to the left wanted to go over here I could have a, a different gradient this middle button is where it leans more so you could have it as a quick yellow burst and then slowly transition over to pink or a very long yellow and sl and quickly transition to pink if you wanted to sort of do it like this, you could create sort of a fun effect where you have, um, like for example, if you wanted to make a rainbow effect, having it sort of lean to one side over and over again will create those sort of lines. See down here how it's yellow, orange, blue really quick. You could do something like that. But let's go back to our basic Jurassic Park theme right here. Now then, this is the quickest way. You've created your text, you're ready to go, nothing else you really do. I mean, if you wanna change the angle or something, you can, you can mess around with it and have fun with it. But what if you wanted to put that opacity on the bottom? So I found that the easiest way to do this, and I'll show you two ways, but the easiest way to do this is to actually turn this into screen. So you're gonna click on the layer, go to screen, and now you can actually do it within the, the gradient overlay itself. If you go back to the gradient overlay, go into the gradient itself, and if we change the opacity of this, so you click on this top one, which is gonna be the top. So actually when I actually wanna click on this left one, it's gonna be this bottom yellow right here and we click zero on the opacity, you'll notice that immediately we have the effect that we're looking for. If we drag this over, we can bring the opacity to sort of just be at the very end here. You can um, sort of, if you wanted to make more of a, a stark transition, you can make one here and bring this one up to 100%. Whoops. And then sort of drag this through and you'll see that it slowly starts encroaching on the bottom. You can drag that over and you can get more of a straight line but you can do pretty much all that you want by just doing that. Now you have that bottom that blends in and the original coloring just like the beginning. Second technique. So let's go ahead and reset this. We're gonna uh, bring this back to 100. Okay, and then drag these off. You click and drag up, they come off. Same on the bottom. If you click and drag them down, they come off. Click okay, click okay. Bring this back to normal. So the second technique is to create a layer mask. So click on this, go down to your layer mask button right here, and you're gonna see there's this black and white. We're gonna go over to the right and find the gradient tool. It could be hiding under the paint, the bucket tool or the 3D material. You want the gradient tool. We need to create ourselves a black and white gradient. So make black on the left, so double click on this color, slide it down to black, go to the right, slide it up to white, click OK. And now make sure that this box right here is highlighting over that white. Now, hold the shift key, otherwise you might create something like an angle. So if we hold the shift key, it goes directly up and down. We're actually gonna be generating a layer mask. You can see the layer mask right there, and we can use this to sort of cut it off. You know, if we wanted to create a cut right there, for example, it looks really nice and, and blended. If we wanna make a really long one, you're gonna see that the whole thing goes because it's just a big transition through this period. So you kinda of wanna start right below the text, 
If you go from top to bottom, you get one that goes straight to the middle. You do tiny little bits, you get very quick chunks. And it's essentially what we're doing, what we are doing in the gradient overlay. This is just a different way of controlling it, which may make it easier to create, for example, a line like this that sort of looks like the text is sitting somewhere. But that is how you create gradient text in Adobe Photoshop. Thanks everyone for joining me. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw them in the comment section below on our website at adobemasters.net. If you'd like to see more videos, some of those one, go ahead that subscribe button. And until next time, everyone, see ya.